One of my favorite things about my road trip to Alaska last year was driving the Dalton Highway. It's 414 miles and it runs along the Alaska pipeline from just north of Fairbanks all the way up to the northern coast of Alaska at Prudhoe Bay. Most of the highway is slick mud and ice. The few sections that were paved were generally worse than the unpaved sections due to the massive potholes that covered the road. It's definitely the most remote place I've ever been, and it was really strange to be up there. I hear there's usually tourists on the Dalton during the summer months, but I was on it at the end of September, which meant that the only vehicles I saw were big rig trucks carrying heavy mining equipment to the oil fields. Originally, I planned to spend four days on the Dalton, and if I knew exactly what was in store, I would have brought more food with me so I could spend five or six days total. It wasn't unreasonable to split the 800-mile round trip into four 200-mile days, but without having someone else to share the driving, my main focus the entire time had to be on the road itself. This meant I had little opportunity to appreciate the vast landscapes and diverse wildlife that the Arctic has to offer. What you're looking at now is Adigan Pass. It's a steep climb up and down the road of mud and ice, and it's probably the most dangerous part of this highway. If there's no one headed up, or sorry, if there's no one headed down at again Pass, I'm gonna head up right now in a red Jeep. Oh, go ahead and go. There's a couple trucks on the top. Yeah, just go for it. Thank you. So this is the dangerous pass. Oh, that is absolutely I'm just going to stop here and let you guys go past unless you want me to do something different.
me down. Thank you, much appreciated. You're welcome. You have a good evening. You as well. Northbound, start down the pass. 